Hey, I'm Alan Brito from Blender 3D Architect and welcome to this tutorial about importing SketchUp files to Blender. Before we start, uh, all of the links, resources, add-ons, everything that I'll be using in this tutorial, I will put links in the description of this video in case you want to follow the exact same steps, everything that I do here in this tutorial. And a quick request, if you find this tutorial useful, if you think it might help other people, uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel so you can keep up with uh, more tutorials, news and resources uh, related to design, open source and Blender. Now, to give you a better idea on how to import SketchUp files to Blender, I will work with two scenarios. The first one, which is the easiest, you have access to SketchUp Pro. That's the case here. I do have a model in SketchUp Pro. And if you want to send this model to Blender, the easiest way to do this is go into File, Export, and choose 3D Model. In this case, I will be selecting here from lots of different file formats. The easiest way to send this model to Blender is choosing OBX, uh, OBJ or FBX. Both of those uh, models, they work great with Blender. Blender can import uh, either of those uh, two models. But like I said, this is the easiest way. And the downside, of course, is you have to uh, have access to SketchUp Pro, which is not the case for many people. What if you uh, migrated from SketchUp to Blender or someone sent you a SketchUp file and you need to import that to Blender, but you do not have access to Blender? That's the case for most people. So let's go with a scenario two. And by the way, you can download, like I said, this model here. Let me just uh, give you the address. This model is from uh, the Twin Motion, the Unreal Engine forums. They often post SketchUp models and some uh, other formats there. This is part of an exercise uh, on using Twin Motion. And you can download this model from this link here. I will place uh, a link to this uh, exact same address in the description in case you want to download this model and use it as a, as a resource. Now let's go to Blender and see option two. And here we are in Blender. How can I get that model here in Blender? Just a quick overview. If you exported that same model as either an OBJ or FBX, you can easily go into File, Import, and select here OBJ or FBX. You don't even have to install an add-on or a new extension to get that file here in Blender. Well, the first thing you might uh, think here in Blender 4.2 is, well, let's try an add-on. And there is an add-on that we can use to import SketchUp files to Blender. That's the exact same uh, resource that I'll be using here in this tutorial. First thing you probably uh, uh, is wondering, can I get that from the official repository? Let's take a look. Let's go into Edit, Preferences, go into Get Extensions. And if I type here a sketch up, it doesn't show uh, anything. Is it there already in the official repository? Yes, it's there, but there is a slightly uh, problem with the review of this tutorial. Let me just give you, let me show you where it is. If you open the extensions.blender.org, go into the approval queue. I think it's on page two. You will see that a few of the add-ons, they are marked here as waiting changes. And the SketchUp importer, it's here. It's awaiting changes. If I open the SketchUp importer, you will see that we have a few notes here from the devs, from the review, uh, from the uh, reviewers. And one of the main problems of this, uh, this add-on is that it uses binary files that won't work in all systems. And uh, to uh, explain what it means, basically, uh, 
this add-on will only work on Windows because it uses binary files. Someone will have to get into the into the add-on and uh, create this binary file, a version of it for macOS and for Linux to make it work on all systems. That's one of the main reasons uh, for the hold here on the uh, release of this add-on as part of the official repository. So how can we get it in case you have a Windows, uh, in case you are using Windows? You can go into this address here. This is the Red Halo repository, a Red Halo Studio, and they have here the SketchUp importer. You can build, they give, uh, they uh, added a uh, step-by-step instruction here on how you can make it work on OS X, on, on Mac OS. And they offer the latest release here to uh, that is uh, that works with Windows. So if I import this, if I download this file, it will work with Blender 4.1 and SketchUp 2023, but it does work just fine with Blender 4.2 and SketchUp 2024. If I download this file here, let's try that out. I will download the file. Let's go back to Blender and I will install that add-on. Let's go into Edit, Preferences, and I will install from disk. You can go into Get Extensions, click on this small arrow here, choose Install from Disk. This is the file, select the file, Install from Disk. Apparently nothing will happen because we have to go to the add-ons and it will show up here, SketchUp Importer. This is uh, the options. This is a local add-on. And if I go into the file, import now, you will see the SketchUp SKP option to import files. Let's remove all of those elements here and try to import that file. That SKP file to Blender. And here we have that file. Again, if you want to download this file, uh, just uh, go to the links, take a look in the links in the description of this tutorial. They will, uh, you can download it from the uh, Twinmotion forums. Let's hit import SKP and here we have it. That same file from SketchUp. To Blender. It's uh, that easy. You don't need SketchUp. You can import uh, basically any version of SketchUp into into Blender because the SketchUp, the SKP file format, basically didn't change. If I'm not mistaken, ever since SketchUp 2021 or 2020, it's the exact same format. So if you get even the recent uh, SketchUp 2024 files, you can import them to Blender uh, with no uh, bigger issues. And here I have a side-by-side -side view, the model on SketchUp and now in Blender. This was a step-by-step -step instruction with two options. The first one, uh, if you have access to SketchUp Pro, you can easily export your model as either an OBJ or FBX. And in case you do not have access to SketchUp, you can easily uh, go with that uh, extension, uh, that add-on. Unfortunately, uh, it only works on Windows right now. So if you have a Mac OS, you can uh, follow uh, those instructions from the add-ons page. And luckily it will be uh, available for uh, more systems for Linux and uh, with an easy installation process for Mac OS. One of the main advantages of using uh, this add-on, the ability to import SketchUp files, is to make it easier for people that are uh, using right now SketchUp to migrate to Blender, or in case you wanna use uh, assets from SketchUp, for instance, if you wanna grab some uh, furniture models, uh, from res uh, some resources from the 3D warehouse, you can do that right now and import those models to Blender. I hope you like this, this tutorial. I hope it helps uh, anyone uh, trying to use, trying to migrate from SketchUp to Blender. And uh, again, 
if you think it's useful, it, uh, if you think it might help other people, give me a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. I see you next time. Bye.